Fellas, man, I've been following y'all for over two years now. Every time I tell y'all, man, I'm more proud of what y'all been doing for the community. Today was the first one, man. First of many seven on seven events that I feel like y'all gonna have, man. You know, just talk about, you know, the turnout today that y'all seen. Uh, the turnout today was just something that's never been done before. So we just trying to we just trying to make history, you know, trying to make our land known around not even the, just Ohio but the country. And I think we definitely took that step to achieve that. Like, steps to achieve that, you know. And it's, it's, it's a long process, like. It, this wasn't easy, you know, putting it together. Like, it's hard. Like, that planning, I respect anybody out there that's doing what we're doing and just trying to, like, um, give kids the proper exposure that it takes to get. Because this is not easy, you know, but this is the first one. We're still young. We got a lot of time to grow and just learn from our experience. But other than that, though, I think um, it's, it's definitely room for elevation, and I know there's definitely room for, room for improvement as well. Man, with the, with, with the talent that we have up here in Northeast Ohio, you know, mm -hmm. Why, well, how and why do you, how how and why do you feel like we go unnoticed? I mean, both of y'all can answer. You know, everybody around the world always talk down on Ohio, especially Northeast Ohio. We don't have the talent. We don't have the player. You know, today I seen it. You know, so why do we go? Why do we continuously go unnoticed? I would say it's, it's, it's honestly because of our weather situation that we gonna keep it a bug. I mean, the, they say the top the top states is Texas, Florida. California and Ohio. So you tell me the only difference between Ohio and those other states that I just named. Those other states playing all year round. And December, January, February, March, they still playing football. Whereas our kids probably got to go hoop or they probably got to go run track or something just to stay in shape. So I feel like it's more so the fact that those kids out there getting seen year round, as, as well as OSHA was kind of holding the kids back with that seven on seven rule. So now that now that they kind of leaned up on that and kids allowed to do more earlier i feel like now we're gonna see ohio starting to get a little bit more respect. all right like you said today was the first step yeah let's get the business what happened today team black i was promised a dub hey. what happened today man no excuses but uh that last, that last drive for team blue was a little crazy i wasn't really paying attention but i heard they ran a play they ran a play yeah they did run a play when y'all weren't watching they let it go off i mean we had we had chances after that to make a couple stops uh shout out to the blue team blue team came out and ball everybody thought it was gonna come down to black versus red and it was blue so uh the quarterbacks under under come out on top definitely the quarterback quarterbacks players, the quarterback. and robert king those are two names to keep up with everybody needs to know those two underrated guys that should be on everybody's radar this year don't sleep on those guys fellas man you guys working hard today the work ain't even halfway done man y'all yeah man Listen, man, Kenny, blood, man. I, hey, listen, man, I'm going to keep working with y'all as long, much as y'all allow me to, man. Congratulations on this event again. The first one down, we got about 100 more. We'll be here next year. Sir, sir.